So we got some news coming out of uh, Disney Plus. Uh, more news to get us interested into the D Disney Plus streaming service, which, ah, damn it, you know, this and, you know, all the stuff with the Marvel shows and the Disney villain show and the news that they've, uh, they're have they going to take everything out of the Disney vault and put it on the Disney Plus streaming service. Ah, damn it. You know, this streaming war stuff is getting out of hand. One time, one of these days, I'm just going to sit down here and, and talk about that. You know, just just do that. Just it would be more less talking and be more me angry ranting. Anyway, so, um, what was I going to say? Um, anyway, so, yeah. So for those who are wondering, yes, Marvel has announced a new animated series for uh, Disney Plus streaming service, and that is What If. Now, if you don't know what a Marvel What If is, What If was an anthology comic that has been brought back every now and again. Uh, basically, it is a more or less What If scenarios of which certain events and certain characters are changed because of certain stories. Like, there, there's one of What If Kraven Killed Spider-Man During Kraven's Last Hunt, or What If, you know, The Hulk Killed Wolverine, or... Uh, this happened, or what if that happened, or what if Civil War ended differently, or what if Secret Invasion ended differently. There was a lot of what if, there were several what ifs, and it's made kind of a mini-series comeback, but it's nice to see that this is actually getting an, a full-on animated series. Now, I don't know how long these are going to be, or if they're, what the rating is going to be, or it, but it does look like it is going to be an anthology series. And I guarantee you of what sparked this to be made. I can pinpoint exactly where where this when this was going to be made. They're making this to spite uh they're making this to spite the Twilight Zone. And you may be thinking, that's crazy Deadpoolzilla. Why would they make a you know, why would they why would they make a you know, why would Disney make a show, an anthology show and try to spite, you know, Jordan Peele's creation over on CBS? Well, you just answered your own question. They totally would. Now, uh, it does. What if does kind of follow the same storyline? Well, the same kind of idea as uh, Twilight Zone, in that it's a series that essentially follows these uh, possible scenarios with certain characters, and that's very, and it's all these cautionary. Some of them are cautionary tales in their own rights. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the reason why they're doing uh, Marvel What If is to, you know, to make their own version of the Twilight Zone. So, there you go. There's, I guarantee you, that, is the, that was the thought process. It was like, hey, Twilight Zone's going to be a thing, and it looks like it's going to be a big thing over on CBS. What do we have that can combat that? Uh, well, Marvel had this comic called What If... It's kind of like Twilight Zone. Brilliant Johnson. Here's the keys to my front house, uh, to, to the front door of my house. Go home and fuck my wife furiously. I'm not like 100% sure that that was the uh, that was the desk meeting in uh, in the office when they came up with the idea, but I'm like 50% sure it, it was. <laughs> anyway, um, <coughs> so anyway. Uh, what If is actually a pretty fun comic. It's a neat little, um, you know, anthology series that had some pretty good stories, but also had some pretty bad stories. Now, again, I do have to, uh, you know, I do have to wonder, um, what they're going to do with this, because this is going to be animated, and with animated, you can do so much with this comic series, you know, it, not comic series, you can do with this, uh, show. It also makes me wonder of how long they're going to be. Probably around, like, episode, your typical episode length, like, 22 minutes. So, um, that's fine. But it also makes me wonder of who's going to guest star, and if they're just going to do adaptations of certain stories, or if they're going to do totally new stories. I think it's going to be something along the lines of, uh, what, they're, what Jordan Peele is going to be doing with Twilight Zone. In that, there is going to be, um completely new and original stories for um, the show, but they're also going to do remakes or adaptations of classic ones as well. I guarantee you we will probably see uh, what, if com you know, what If comics adapted into this continuity. I guarantee you at some capacity some of those What If comics are going to be um, adapted into an episode or two. Would not be shocked, but I'm pretty sure 
that the main focus of this will be live, at, will be um, new stories. It also makes me wonder of what kind of star power we're looking at here. It does make me wonder of what kind of, you know, could we get Robert Downey Jr. to do Iron Man in an episode? Maybe not. But, you know, with Disney actually putting what is apparently called real money into these productions, it does make you go, huh. So that's how, you know, so that's what they're doing. Because, yeah, they really want to show that Disney can dominate the streaming service, apparently. Anyway, so that's my, th you know, that's what I think is that, you know, the sky's the limit. And once again, Marvel is, you know, Disney's showing that they really want to win these streaming wars. Um... And it's kind of evident with that with this. Uh, again, you know, What If was always a cool series for me. I always dug it um, because they're all like out of continuity stories. And we haven't really had an anthology animated series before. We've never really, well, there was Tales from the Crypt. Um, the animated ser the animated um, adaptation of Tales from the Crypt, from the, yeah, Tales from the Crypt, but it was called Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Um, so there was that. Um, and it was, uh, it was fun, but I can't really think of another animated anthology series. I really can't. This is really cool that we're getting a animated anthology series that doesn't really follow any kind of continuity. It, it um, the only real thing was that, um, the only thing that was kind of linear was really, um, having the Watcher be kind of like fill in for the Crypt Keeper in that the Watcher was seeing all of the possible, uni you know, could see all of the possible universes, so he could more or less, you know, tell everyone, hey, this is what happened when this happened, or this is what could have happened if this happened, you know, stuff like that. That was the main point, was that Uatu was kind of like the Crypt Keeper in a way, only not creepy. Although, given on your de definition of the Watcher, creepy could be, you know, could be apt in some cases. Anyway... So, it does, you know, it does make me go, you know, could we get some cool comics adapted? I personally would love to see, um, I personally would love to see a few done. Um, I would love to see them do an adaptation of what if, uh, some of the comics I would like to see get adapted if possible. Uh, the Craven's Last Hunt story. Again, it depends on how dark they're going to make this, because sky's the limit with, um, streaming. Um... So they could easily go dark, but knowing Disney, they may not make it too dark. But I would love to see them do an adaptation of the what if, the uh, Craven's Last Hunt What If, where Craven killed Spider-Man and then masqueraded as the black suit Spider-Man and ruined his reputation. But at the end of it, Mary Jane became a voice for superheroes everywhere and kind of saved uh, the superhero co uh, uh, community in doing so. So that was pretty neat. Um, another one I'd like to see is, uh, Punisher with the, you know, when Pun the What If story of What If Ve the Venom suit took over the Punisher, that's a really good one. Um, I'd also love to see, maybe, you know, it'd be kind of cool, is maybe if they did, like, a season finale, they did a three-parter of Punisher Kills the Marvel Universe. I know that's not technically a, mar a What If, but you could easily re rework it as a What If story, really. You could easily rework it as a... Um, as a what-if story, totally, uh, you know. But again, it all depends on how dark they're willing to make um, this series. It makes you wonder of how dark they're willing to make uh, this show be, as well as, um, as uh, what was I going to say? It also makes you wonder how far they're willing to take it. So that's the big question right there. Uh, so yeah, I am interested in this, and the more I hear about this from The Mandalorian to other stuff that they've been talking about over on Disney+, Plus, the more it makes me go, God damn it, you know, I, you know, I only have an X, my family only has an X amount of money, so, uh, yeah, not helping Disney, this villain show, The Mandalorian, the, you know, the Cassian TV show, the, now this, and all the Marvel TV shows you're doing, you're not helping with this whole thing. A lot of people are, you know, economically stretched as it is, and you're not helping the situation. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of the an animated series of Marvel's What If? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? Um, do you want to see, co what comics would you like to see them readapt into uh, an animated episode? Just uh, comment below, let us know here on Comic Universe. 
Uh, also, want to let everyone know that our giveaway for Batman for Detective Comics number one thousand is still a go. So you know, go check out that video a few vids back and check that one out. And once again, I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.